and welcome back to a beginner's guide to farming simulator 22 today we're going to take a look at logging in the base game uh, and to do that we are going to start a new save we can find an empty slot we're going to be a farm manager that way we start without anything but with some cash in our pocket and we're gonna go right on elm creek i'm gonna deselect all and start the game okay so when we start it looks like we have 1.5 million dollars which is good because we're going to spend all of that more today i'm sure we are at the uh starter farm but we do not own it right now we don't own any land or equipment animals anything it's just us and the clothes on our back uh to do logging i want to come to Area 27, which is 1.169 million. So let's go ahead and buy that right away. That way we have our logging land. And uh, I won't spend that money on other things. Let's pop over to the store real quick. Because we have a couple other things we're going to need to buy to get started. We're going to start real basic and then work our way up from there. So the first thing we're going to need is a chainsaw. We come into tools, chainsaws. They all work the same, just look a little different. So we'll buy the still for a thousand. That leaves us, oh, plenty of money, $329,000. So what do we want to set up with this? There's a couple of routes we can take. Uh, I think what we might ought to do is buy a relatively cheap... Actually, let's see what we can get for small tractors. Some of the larger small tractors. 110, 109, 102. How many horsepower? 125 horsepower to start. Can we get a front loader? Yes. All right, so let's buy this new Holland. We're going to go with 125 horsepower because that should be enough for what we need. Um, the wheel brand doesn't much matter, but I do want wheel weights. Uh, wide tires with weights. It's going to get real expensive real quick. Let's just start with wheel weights because we're going to want some weight on our back end. Um, and you'll see why in a minute. We're going to throw a front loader attacher on there. They cost the same, so it doesn't matter. We'll buy this. That's 104000 Now, while we're thinking about it, let's buy our front loader. Uh, we could do probably that one. We don't need that one. So the Q6M for 9000 should fit that tractor nicely. Color doesn't matter, so we'll buy that. And to go with this... We are going to buy this guy, a log fork. Yeah, that'll probably be the easiest for us. We're going to get the log fork for 3000 And then let's just buy a trailer. So we can go into forestry equipment and buy one of the forestry, the few forestry trailers. These come with the grapple and everything, but they're not the easiest to use, especially if you don't have joysticks set up or anything. So what I think we're going to do is if we go with a regular trailer, I think a couple of these, we could set that up as a bale trailer and that would work. What other options do we have? Anything? I want to see what we've got for low loaders. You got anything that will... Standard, extensions, that's it for that. That is a huge trailer, by the way. Nine two, yeah, okay. So low loaders are not going to be it. What about bail loaders? What options are on you? Extensions, no forks, though. Log forks is what I'm looking for. So, like, we could use that. That would work all right, I think. But we don't necessarily need something that big right away. 
we're a little limited. Do we have any just plain? We've got the timber runner. We also don't need that right away. So let's start ourselves with the little trailer. Is that the only one that we can convert? What about you? Do you got different setups? No. Configuration. Ooh, ooh, there we go. That's a better looking bale trailer. A little bit bigger. That first one is real small. Yes, so let's go with this. We'll be able to tow it behind our tractor and we'll be able to fit decent logs on here. So that was 39650 Oh yeah, we still have a bunch of money left. Is there anything else we need right away? I think that'll probably be good. Actually, let's get a weight. We did get the wheel weights, but let's go ahead with an actual weight. And we'll go... We do this 1100 that's going to be a ton that'll let us pick up larger stuff and we with that little pinto hitch on there we should be able to hook our trailer up behind it but we'll find out in a second all right so now that we have all that equipment let's go put it all together jump in our new tractor actually let me adjust the settings because this is a brand new game uh interactive zone markers oh we can leave those on that's fine but what I do want is oh, do, 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 do. time scale can go to real time traffic we can turn off days per month that's all fine that's all fine automatic engine start off there we go that'll make me much happier we'll just turn off not that we're going to use AI but I if we do for something I don't want them buying things We'll save the game. All right, let's jump in and keep going. Let's start it up. Well, we probably could have went one size smaller with these forks. Or with the uh, front loader. Get that attached. Pull into our forks. Those attached. And we actually got to... Grab our weight from this side. Get that on there and then hoping we can hook that trailer right to it. If not, we can throw the weight on the front and then tow the trailer and then drop the weight and do all that. All right, so now we have a really good starter forestry setup. This is better than cutting up small logs that we can grab and put in the back of a pickup. And since we started with so much money, we might as well get it. Yeah, that is a nice big trailer. I'm liking this. I wish it had, uh, wish it had the forks coming up the sides. But let's drive over to our new area and I'll meet you over there okay so this is our land we pull out and look at the map you can see that we're right in this area and the the darker areas here are where trees come on the map that are for logging you can cut down any trees and i'll show you in a minute why a lot of the trees are not very good for logging you should mainly keep two trees that are built for it but we own all this land here I'll pull it up all this land out here to the river and along the road and then up and around the sawmill which very nice placement because we don't have very far to go to get to the sawmill so i can go ahead and turn this tractor off we're going to walk around for a second and look at it and these are the straight pines and they have a little bit of a wiggle to them they're not necessarily the best trees 
The spruces are the best. I don't know if there's any planted on here. Let's walk up in here and look. No, it looks like it's all pine. But you can see this has been planted as if it's a uh, tree farm. As all the trees are evenly spaced and in nice rows. And when we get to planting our own trees, that's how they will end up looking. But we've got this area all up in here that's been planted with these pines that are ready. Uh, these do not grow. Uh, the ones that come on the map. But once we harvest them, if we replant, our trees will grow. But like this is always going to be an 8.3 meter pine as far as I understand it. But if we cut it down, we plant our own trees here. They will grow up to be full, tall trees like this guy over here. The 36, 32.8 meter pine. So we'll end up clearing all this land. And you can see there's tiny trees and stuff. Um, but we will take care of all that as we go. Some of these, which there's not very many around here. But if we go out to the edge of our land a little bit, let's go out here past where it's planted. Because we own this whole slice of land in here. And you can see it's not all been planted. We have, what is this, an elm? We have an American elm. And when we cut down this tree, so if you use the scroll wheel and you scroll up, or if you hit numbers on your keyboard, uh, one will bring up the first thing. I think you can buy multiple. I know once you get the uh, expansion pack and Silver Run Force and everything, you can buy Marking Spray, which I don't think comes base. Yeah, that's not base game. But that'll go in there too. So like one would bring up your Chainsaw, two would bring up your Marking Spray potentially, as long as that's the order you bought them in. But Scroll Wheel brings it up. If you hold right click, or, yeah, if you hold down the right mouse button and then move left and right, it rotates your saw. And then as you get closer, you see that little line popped up. Oh, there it is. That means that we can cut. And it's green because we own that and we can cut it in that position. Uh, usually I'll crouch down so we get nice and low to the ground. And then you just hold down the left mouse button. And that'll cut our tree. Then timber will let her fall. And obviously this tree is way too heavy to pick up. It's two tons and we can't sell... We can sell wood like this if we could drag this over there. But it's got all these branches on it and everything and it's not very pretty. So what you want to do, which is much harder on elms than it is on like the pines and I'll show you the difference in a minute what you need to do is delimit so on elms and oaks you have to actually line up cut these big limbs off and then once you have the limbs if you get it near these branches oh let's see uh, there the, it'll pop off the branches with the leaves on it there we go and you want to completely de-limb trees. We're just going to leave this because this is a pain. And obviously you can see why it's already a pain. You're going to get very little straight wood out of this. And then you have all these big gnarly... Oh, I can actually pick that up. All these big gnarly branches that do not stack very well. They don't sell for much money. They're hard to move around. And I'm not able to get this in here very well to cut. There we go. And cut the end off. So that is a branch. And you're going to end up with mostly branches like this. And no, like, heartwood from the tree. But if we cut down a pine, you can see. We'll get close to the bottom. That way we don't have a lot of stump. We're not leaving a lot of wood. Timber! You have to say it every time. It's, it's the law. Um... If we bring this out and kind of aim it down the center and then walk with the chainsaw down the center, I usually crouch, but that will delimb everything off of here. 
and then for the most part you're left with straight wood you know you have a lot this is all sellable good straight wood whereas with the elm you'd have to cut off all these limbs and uh we'll just show the difference if i can aim it just right this seems like one of the things that has definitely improved with the update i've never tried logging um without the dlc we'll see how this goes but there and now you can see the difference this is the main good wood that we could sell which we can't pick up because it's still 837 kilograms versus this well kind of if you cut it like there because that's just kind of scrap junk just like those branches but the rest of this is pretty good wood it's thinner but it is much longer and for the most part straight yeah and that's the basics so you want the long thin straight wood spruce are the best we do not have any planted uh and honestly i don't know if when we go to plant them oh yeah we can buy spruce base game so that's what we'll end up planting here because you got spruce pine stone pine birch oak willow maple pagoda dogwood Bag bark, hickory, American elm, cypress. I think these are coming from something else that I have downloaded that I actually don't have going right now. Because like downy service berry, I know that's not in base game. Um, so even though I don't have mods turned on right now, I think some of them are affecting that. Because I'm almost positive that you don't get that many. I think you get spruce, pine, and oak, willow an American elm it would be something to look up but spruce is what we want and I'm pretty sure that comes with the base game if not you can always do these pine the pine are fine pine is fine so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut down several of these trees in this area to give us a big enough place to turn around this tractor and we will use the tractor to load up the cut the longer cut branches or uh longer cut trees onto the tra trailer i'm going to try to cut i think if i cut down these little guys here I should be able to cut them down but if i cut down a little guy like this and then delimit but you want to get all those limbs off. Taking the limbs off not only makes it easier to handle, but greatly increases the uh, price you get when you go to sell it. Yeah. So these little guys, I'll load up by hand. And then the big ones, I'll load up with the tractor. I'll show you. Uh, when I go to load them up, I'll show you how that works. So let me get these cut down, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so I cut down all the little trees in the area that I wanted to clear out because we're going to make this basically our landing, our base of operations. Um, and as you could tell, they're a little hard to 
actually target, but when you target the tiny little trees like this and you cut them, they just disappear. If they won't give you usable wood at all, it'll just disappear. You can also, like, if you cut the end, uh, it's blue, so we can't cut. Come on, give me a spot to cut. Why aren't you letting me cut? There we go. Cut off just the little end if there's not enough wood. If the game deems it is not enough wood, it just disappears. So I think we're going to try, which I don't know if this will work with the bushes or not, but to clear this area out a little bit, there's two ways. We could either get a plow and plow this area to get rid of everything underneath, or if we come into landscaping, we could be able to paint like forest texture. Yeah, and get rid of everything here. Let's make this a little bit bigger. This is going to cost some money, but it saves us from having to go get a plow. And it will clear it out so we can really see what we're doing. And just kind of paint that area there. There we go. Yes, now we can really see what we're trying to do here. And I'll cut down like maybe just this last little tree here. Come on. Here we go. Okay. They're just everywhere, aren't they? Oh, 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 maybe. There we go. Good enough. All right, so. Like I said, I'll cut these down by crouching. Getting as low as I can. That way we don't have a whole lot of stump left. Idea basically will be go through and delim. You just kind of point at it. Some people line it up and then just do this method. Oh, where you just click again and again. I like the walking down the middle because that tends to work pretty good. And then you're not click 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 clicking. And then we'll cut it into lengths that I think not only will fit on the trailer, but I think that our tractor will be able to handle. So something like this. I think our tractor should be able to pick that up fine. We'll cut these trees into like three. That shouldn't be too bad. And then if we jump back in our tractor. The front loader controls. You can see uh, in the upper left there, you have your left click will lift and lower, and it'll also tilt the head, and then right click will just open and close these your, your grapple. So the idea is basically drive over to it, and these work a lot better if you try to pick them up from above than scoop from underneath. I want to get centered up pretty good. Not perfectly, it doesn't much matter, but it's easier if you can get centered up on the log you're trying to pick up. Kind of come down, drive into it, something along those lines. And then we'll just close that grapple. And then we should be able to rotate that up. And now the log is in our control. And we'll drive back. We weren't very centered, but it's okay. Lift this up so we don't run into anything. Just drive it over. I took those small logs off. That way we could put the large logs on there first. And then we can stack those small logs on top of them. Tends to work a little easier. Oh, and it fell almost to where we wanted it. Let's go around the other side. Push it on. But this being a bale trailer... It should have um, traps on it. But once we get this where we want it, just open that up. Come here. Trying to get under it a little. Give it a little nudge. Maybe pick it up a little bit. There we go. Something like that. And believe me, the, the game's really finicky when it comes to working with anything like this. 
it takes a while to get used to so if you start out and everything seems super hard it is when you start it definitely takes a while to get any sort of smoothness especially mouse and keyboard uh people say controller is a lot better to use i don't use a controller on here but i do have joysticks and the joysticks when you have them set up properly are a million times easier i'm not using them right now i'm using mouse and keyboard um but it logging is a whole different beast when you have joysticks to use all the cranes and stuff but if we come up you can see this lights up with that ghost the green ghost there and you hit r to fasten boom one will be enough to hold it down you could do either end if you want but that way when we're putting other logs on top the log that we have there is not going to go anywhere so i'll go ahead and cut a couple more trees down here probably just these two and then i'll get all of these logs loaded on the trailer and i'll see you when i'm done with that Okay, now we've got some wood loaded up. This is a uh, a patient person's game here if you want to do logging. Definitely, especially if you're not doing it all the time every day. The more you do it, the easier it gets. But if you haven't done it in a while or if you're just starting out with it, it's really finicky trying to get in there and do stuff. So just have patience. Um... I assume we're going to bring this to the mill. I think that's probably the only place that'll buy it. But let's double check. Wood. Ooh, the carpentry will buy it. The wool, the biomass. Sawmill is right here, and it'll buy it right between the two. So we're going to sell it here. You can also make wood chips. Sell those. Um, and then if we buy the sawmill we can use that to make planks which the only place on the map that'll buy those is carpentry 
and then we can buy the carpentry to make furniture and sell the furniture at the grocery store um and that's kind of the base game production um roadmap or production chain for wood uh but it's very profitable and it's it's fairly easy to do like logging in base game is good to get into um for like your winter months while your crops are growing and stuff because once you buy the sawmill and you fill it up the first time it then becomes very easy to keep it filled up um because it doesn't take a whole lot of wood a whole lot of trees to get the required amount of wood but this is the sawmill itself. I know it says sawmill up there, but that's mostly just design and everything. This building here is the sawmill. The area that I'm at right here is where we unload wood. This is where you would buy it. This little area here is where pallets spawn. If we hit R, it's $100,000 for the sawmill. Um, if we come to this little exclamation point, and hit R. That'll sell our wood. We made $2,760 off of those, what was it, three regular sized trees and three or four little trees. And then back here, as your sawmill runs, uh, you will make wood chips. And then you can fill up your wood chips here to sell wherever, once you own the sawmill. I don't know if you can buy wood chips there. Not that you would want to, you don't need them for anything. But once you buy the sawmill, you get wood chips as a byproduct of making your planks. So there's one more thing I want to go get from the store. So let me go, I'm going to go park this trailer and then I'll meet you over at the store. Okay, here we are back over at the store. Let's see. I think they have what I want, but let's find out. So if we go under forestry. Okay, yes, they do. So here's a couple things. We'll look through the forestry equipment just to kind of go over it. So you have trailers, obviously. These ones um, are forwarder trailers. They come with a crane. That, like I already said, isn't necessarily the easy. It's not impossible to use, but it's not the easiest to use. It definitely takes some playing with and getting used to. Um, these are best towed by a tractor. I know it might be tempting to hook up a truck to it, but the way the truck hitches work with this, they don't sit even, and it makes it much harder to use. Here's a best towed by a trailer. You have this one and this one. This one extends out a little bit so you can get bigger wood on it, I believe. Um, they work fine, and they're definitely good to drag up into the woods. If you have a semi-truck, this is a trailer for that, or you can get a dolly and pull it behind a tractor as well. Uh, I believe... Maybe you can't. Once you buy this, you may be able to move where these are. Or different size wood bring them together on either end so that you have like two stacks of short wood or have them all spread out evenly so you have you know one stack of really long wood these are mulchers forestry mulchers these require oh this one's actually not bad 150 horsepower but they usually require pretty good horsepower to use and what it will do is it'll grind stumps and bushes and everything else in its path the only thing that i don't like about these in base game is that they give the plowed state to the ground it'll grind up the ground but then it's plowed and it will grow uh, weeds eventually i believe but it looks on the map like it's a field because it basically turns an area into a field uh, this is what we're going to buy. This is a stump grinder. So let's go ahead and buy that for 27000 because we're going to take that back with us. I want to grind those stumps out that we left there. This is a wood chipper. So for all those little 
um, branches and stuff and the tops of trees if you don't want to sell those because you don't make very much money selling them for lumber you can instead this unfold it's a little conveyor you have the your claw arm here and you load the wood either by hand or with the claw onto the conveyor it grinds it into this tub back here and then this comes up and tips quite a lot like the um like the sugarcane trailer that we had in an earlier episode and then this is the tree planter so it doesn't look like a whole lot but you hook this behind the tractor and then you have to buy the pallets under objects pallets you come to tree saplings and then you pick which type of tree you want to plant you buy these i think they come in 20 yeah 20 pieces so you can plant 20 trees at a time for a thousand dollars you buy these and then you back up to it with the tree planter and it loads up just like loading any other um input into like a cedar or anything works and then you turn it on drop it down and drive straight and it plants a tree at intervals for you so that's what all of this is and then under vehicles forestry machines we have multiple harvesters so that there's a komatsu a ponzi a rotney um these are harvesters these you take out into the woods and it will cut down the tree and then delim and cut to specific lengths um base game they're not the worst to use they're not the easiest thing to use but they're not the worst to use and if you're seriously getting into logging you definitely want to get one of these they're very expensive but you can process a lot of wood with them and then you have these forwarders there's one of each brand as well to go along with your harvester and this is just like that trailer except for it's hooked to its own power unit it's not detachable um and these just go up and, and you can collect wood and bring it down out of the forest you have logging trucks which have their own loader on it i think that's the only one that we have for that um then you have this which is a grinder as well it's just like that little pull behind grinder except for it's got a much bigger um arm it doesn't have its own tub so it has an output pipe you can tow a trailer behind it or you can just drag a trailer up next to it and it'll output your wood chips into a separate trailer this is a uh, super expensive six hundred and sixty thousand dollars but it is a super nice machine it's really not bad at all to run the grapple works really well in it um it feeds trees like this this is if like you just wanted to clear a lot and you were grinding entire trees or like you needed wood chips for your biomass whatever you can sell those at at the um what was it your if you buy the biomass energy place and you want to use wood chips as your input that is a very good machine for that uh you probably will not make enough money on wood chips to ever pay for this if you were just doing it to sell wood chips but it is a very nice machine and then you have the raptor which is this you hook up the um mulcher to the forestry mulcher like you can this is just a regular three-point connector connector so you can hook this right to a tractor but this machine here is specifically for that and it has a winch which does not work unless you get the dlc i don't believe any winches work without the dlc but this is more you wanted to make roads up through the forest type machine also very good machine but very purpose-built 
$275,000 just to clear out tree stumps and make logging paths. Uh, but that's it for logging machinery. We already bought the thing, yes. So, let's hook up to this. It's bigger than it seems, so I'm going to hook it on the back. I might actually need to make our weight come and put the weight on the front. Uh, we got just enough weight on the front of this tractor to still have steering. So I'm going to drive this back to our property and I'll meet you over there. Okay, so now that we're back, you can see we have stumps left over from where our trees were. So we're going to use the stump grinder to get rid of these. So you basically just back yourself up into place. And then the controls on this are pretty simple. If you right click, you can move up and down, which moves that arm up and down. You can move left and right, which moves, swings the arm left and right. If you left click, no, that was left click. If you right click, you move up and down, pushes that arm in and out. And if you move left and right, it brings this little guard down so you're not splashing stuff everywhere. But it's pretty simple. Hit B to turn it on. Look, that one's gone already. Um, let's go, let's back up to this one because this one might take a second longer. You back up over where you want to be. You hit B. You move the blade down into the stump. You kind of move back and forth across it and it disappears. And then we turn it back off. That simple. Once you do a lot, it takes a while to go through and get all your stumps with one of these. That's what the, um, another thing the grinders are good for, as opposed to this, because the, or the mulchers, because the mulchers are a little easier to just kind of drive through the space that you've done and and do it you don't have to like position every time but that's the basic in and outs of how um logging works i'll do at least one more episode on the base map with the larger equipment and kind of show you the process of how logging is supposed to work with all that equipment like the the actual workflow there we go now we don't have any more stumps so now we have this little landing area the if you guys want if you want a second video showing that let me know um i'll explain it quick because it's not it's not hard to understand so you could use that raptor um, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. So you could use the raptor, which is this. This might be your first one in. Um, this with the mulcher on the front of it, because that's the only thing that you would use this for. You take that, you turn it on, you drive it up into the woods and clear yourself a path. They give you a little path here, but say there wasn't a path, it would get rid of all your bushes, your little trees, whatever. It would make basically build you a fundamental road to be able to get in and out of the forest. Then you park that off to the side. Then you jump in to your harvester. You come up with your harvester. If you've got wide enough spot to bring it, bring your harvester up in. And you would use it to harvest the trees that are around. It'll cut them down, delimit, and it'll stack the logs to a specific length that you want them cut. And then you'll make a bunch of stacks with the trees that you cut down. Then you'll park your harvester off to the side somewhere. Then you grab your forwarder. You come in with the forwarder, drive that up. Go to all the little stacks of logs that you've made. Use the crane to load them on turn around bring them back out of the woods so that's the in the woods bit and what you would do is bring your forwarder down and depending on what you were using from there you would probably 
with what we have in base game, you would bring them and line them right up next to your... Oh, I guess if you could use this. So if you were using this truck here, you would use your forwarder to bring your logs down and realistically you would size sort them in game you wouldn't necessarily but you would size sort your logs into separate piles along like your road road so then you just have piles of cut logs that are ready to go to your sawmill then you come all come along with this truck pull up next to the pile you load up until you're full and then you go and deliver that to your sawmill or if you were using this trailer with a semi truck or even a tractor and a dolly pulling it you'd probably bring that forwarder down and load directly into this because there's not another good way um there is but there's not so the other way would be to load into piles somewhere in a landing which is what this is we now have to the space you can come and make a really big pile of logs get a wheel loader uh probably the largest one you could grab and then with that you should yeah we have a big log fork that comes standard you grab the log fork and with the wheel loader with the log fork attached you could grab the logs from the piles, stack them in the semi-trailer, and drive them to your sawmill. And that's it. Like, that's that's the way that the processing of wood in a forestry setting with the equipment available to us here would work. You get yourself away into the woods, cut down your trees, bring them out with your forwarder, make stacks, load them into your transportation, transport them to your sawmill. And then if you own the sawmill, they turn them into pallets of um, planks. And those planks, you would either move or have, you could either sell them, or if you own the carpentry, where did that stuff go? Oh, it's down here. So that would make planks, and you could either sell them or send them to the carpentry and the carpentry will make them into furniture and then you can sell the furniture that's that's the long and short of it in base game and then once you've cut an area out you get the planter you replant rows you let it grow for a few years and then when they're tall enough to harvest again you do the whole thing over again um actual farming of it would be pick an area clear that replant it right away and then the next season pick the next area clear that replant it right away like if you did it every winter i don't know let's look at that does it have trees no so it looks like you can plant trees anytime so if you're doing this over the winter while you're running your forest or not your forest if you're running your farm normally and doing forestry as an add-on for something to do during the winter months and maybe in the middle of summer when you don't have anything else going on and you don't you know your animals are taken care of and your fields are all set you don't got nothing to do you can you do that you cut down a couple rows go to sell them replant them and then just keep doing that and then you'll have nice straight rows like these are already set up but you won't have all the stuff in the middle because you'd already will have come in and cleared it all out and then you'll have nice little tree plantation. Um, you can do that anywhere. It doesn't have to be here. If you want, you could buy the base farm or any of these fields or really any piece of land. Like if you wanted to, I guess if you owned like this field and this field and you wanted to grow a line of trees along here and then harvest them whenever they're ready and replant them but it takes multiple years i don't remember what the base game is but it takes a significant amount of time for trees to grow we either want a lot of land 
where you can process it and keep going or you want it to be something that you're not really relying on at all you're planting it and you're okay with letting it sit for several in-game years before you can harvest them again but yeah that's it that's logging in a nutshell if you have any questions about it definitely put them in the comments if you want to see that process played out with the equipment to get a better idea of exactly what that looks like let me know and i'd be happy to do it or if you want to see me go over logging again but with the dlc enabled so we have all the extra machines and everything uh, i'd be happy to do that too i like logging logging is a fun part of this game i think but that'll be it for today's episode thank you so much for watching i hope you learned something Again, if you have questions, put them down below, and I'd be more than happy to answer. And I will see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye!